All right. My name is Querbe2004 and I play World of Tanks. This time I am playing the Chinese tier 7 medium tank T-34-1 and I'm having a blast. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Um <clears throat> no, it's is one of my very first games. I would I am roughly yeah, it's just an estimate, I would say 15 to 20 games into this tank now um, I know that I shouldn't go where I'm going in this game as I am a medium but I am top of the board and that means my gun is for it, you know, for is uh, quite useful on a on a spot where firepower is needed and um, yeah, I think I just made the decision to go there, despite that many of you might think that I shouldn't have gone there. But anyways, that's my game. <laughs> um, yeah, a few words is uh, what I don't like. Uh, let's start with that, because that's not too much. What I don't like is the uh, gun depression and um, the armor when you are... The, the armor seems to have difficulties to bounce even though uh, you angle it, you are, I am angling or you would angle or whatever. I don't know what in this fucking guy's mind is happening by doing that, you know. It's like, I should have shoot him in the fucking ass, idiot. Oh, oh well, where was I? Yeah, the, the armor um, seems to be quite uh, prone to not bouncing. <laughs> Let's put it that way, when, you know, tier 7, tier 6, you you know, even medium tank guns point at you and shoot at you. But the gun on this thing, uh, and I am talking about the most upgraded gun, and, you know, this is, um, except the last step to the T-34-2, everything is researched on this thing. I did spend a lot of free XP on it because I was so fed up uh, with the low tiers in the Chinese tank that I just um, uh, just did spend a good amount of free XP. No gold, but I had a free XP. Um, yeah, they, the thing is that the gun really can shine except on that KV-1S, I don't know why, but I mean, okay, he's angled, I shoot from a lower position to an angled front armor, I see the point of not penetrating. So I wasn't uh, too frustrated uh, about the fact, but um, I saw things, I thought tanks around me dying and that worried me a little bit, but... Um, well, back to the tank. Uh, its agility is so-so. Um, when I think of tier 7 tanks, uh, let's think, what do we have there? The Panther, well, its uh, maneuverability and agility is not really that great either. So, that's a good, uh, that's a good thing. I, what do the Americans have there? The T-20 on tier 7, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, that that's a great tank, but... Um, the front armor is a problem on the T20. On the T20, what do the Russians have there? The T43. What a crap tank that is, man. So, I mean, overall, I think it's one. It's uh, together with the Panther, the T20, uh, maybe the T20, and that one is, a, are the, the, you know, good solid tier seven machines. Because on this one, the, the gun is what it is all about. I mean, it's it's um, that's the case for any tank. But um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, it's not very agile. It's not accelerating very fast. You know, it's not bouncing very good. It's, I mean, it's the, the uh, if I might draw a picture here or a comparison. Um, I think, generally speaking, the tier 7 medium tanks in the game are like a... Um, how can I characterize that? You know, um, I think you have to 
to man through tier 7 medium tanks, you know, in order to show your devotion. <laughs> I don't know how to put it there. otherwise, you know, it's like, that is the, the fucking tier that no, that, that has no good medium tanks, I would say. Uh, they're all crap, to be honest. With the except of this gun, the, the gun I am very, I am very uh, surprised it's uh, aiming time for, uh, I know it's a Chinese tank, but I say it, the aiming time for a Russian gun is pretty, is pretty good. Um, the punch it packs is pretty good if you penetrate. And, uh, yeah, yeah, if you penetrate on a tier 5 tank destroyer up front, that is. Oh man. But no, no real complaint. I'm I, that that is a very strange relationship, you know, uh, quote unquote relationship. But I do like the tank, despite all the things that I just mentioned. It it just feels right, you know. Sometimes, you know, it's like even if when a tank isn't that great, you know, there is the chemistry in between the player and the tank, and for some strange. Uh, reason that is unexplainable to me. Um, I do like this tank and I do drive it um, uh, having fun in it. So, I mean, that's what it is all about, anyways. But, yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I thought I saw I saw that loop. I was uh, that loophole, or wh how do you say that? That. Uh, hole in their defense and I thought you know you know what I tried out I was um, observing their um, base and cap area uh, very closely during uh, our shenanigans on the rock corner there and uh, I saw the opportunity and I just I just went for it uh, it did cost the, uh, the was it the black prince uh, its life but and that was an asshole move on my side, I know, because he actually saved my life. I was very lucky that uh, he came and took all the shots from the KV-1S. Um, yeah, but... Um, yeah, look at that motherfucker. No pussy death. Nope, sir. No pussy death. Yeah, so the, thanks to the Black Prince, uh, you actually saved my life and... Uh, uh, you know, made this pos this result for me possible. Uh, merits where merits belong, guys. That's what uh, it is all about, isn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, as I said, I think uh, that shows uh, what this tank is capable of. I could, you know, I saw a little taste of what it is actually capable of in the first couple of games I had with it uh, the other night. And um, you know, I think there are um, uh, quite a few games to come of that same caliber. And I'm really looking forward to drive that tank around uh, for a little bit more. Um, it's just uh, it's just an awesome feeling to drive that tank. I mean, isn't uh, n nothing comes close to shagging a girl, but you know what I mean. <laughs> just a wee joke. Um, the thing is, uh, generally speaking, a little bit about the Chinese tree. I don't I don't enjoy the Chinese tree too much. I mean, now I am on the the one after the IS-2, Jesus Christ, what's his name? I uh, I don't know, and um, that is a so-so tank. Ah, they, is it the 110? Yeah, that is a so-so tank. It's uh, supposed to be a little bit like the IS-3, and uh, I do see its potential of bouncing because you actually bounce a lot up front. That 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 is the truth. But other than that, the gun is not very accurate. Um, you know, it's not a brawler tank, so you have to stay uh, on distance. But there's, the gun is not made for distance shot shots. Oh well. Um, the medium and the light tier tree is isn't that good either. So overall, my opinion on the Chinese tank so far, where I progressed heavy to tier eight and medium to tier seven. Uh, no, I don't enjoy it too much. Um, it's not a great variety, um, and uh, I hope that that changes soon. Yeah, if you saw what you like, uh, if you like what you saw, uh, 
I invite you to push and hit or click the thumbs up button and that would help me out also if you like my stupid uh, voice uh, talking about funny things then um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and um, yeah I will make a three to four weeks break uh, soon because I going I am going on a business trip but after that I will be back and I will continue posting um, World of Tank videos and even uh, maybe some other games in the future who knows I see you later